G'day legends. So you got a 75 series and you want bucket seats in it. We all know you can get the Hurricane seat adapter things to allow you to fit Ford Falcon or Holden Commodore seats into your 75. Well, I'm gonna share something with you. A guy named Lachlan came to me and he showed me a little trick. Well, I'm gonna share that trick with you. Here it is. Well, here's the interior of my 75 series. I've got the Ford Falcon XR6 seats on the Hurricane adapters. Awesome, but there's a problem. That. See the extension of the seat rail? Well, that's where your factory bench seat bolts in. So what they've done is they've made an extender bracket to suit that rail. Now I'm planning on putting a console right here and that rail will get in the way. There is a solution. Check it out. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and removed the passenger seat from the 75. You can see the holes for the seat rails off the front, off the front, and the two back ones. And in the middle is the seatbelt one there. Alrighty. And here is the seat on the ground. You can see how far that rail overhangs to get into those furthermost seat mounts. Well, I'll tell you something. Toyota aren't stupid. They aren't going to make four different floor pans for four different versions of the vehicle. So you've got left-hand drive, right-hand drive. That's two versions. You've got factory bucket seats, factory bench seats. That's another two versions. All right, so total, that's four different floor pans they would have to make to make it work for the different environments that it's sold in, the different countries, left and right, or the different configuration of the seats. They aren't gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this the best way. All right, now we have the driver's seat removed, just the carpet there, which we'll peel back. But before I do, now here you can see the Hurricane fabrication kit. It's actually a pretty good bit of gear. Uh, some elongated holes so you can move the seat over a bit more, uh, twist it, whatever you want to do. All fits onto the factory runners. It's really good. I quite like it. And there's the passenger one. All right, so again, it's a good bit of kit. Um, I just don't know they know that you can do this. So I'm gonna share it with you. First thing we'll do is move that carpet out the way. So literally just peel it up. There you go, it's out the way. And there is the floor pan. All right, so you can see it above. In this one, I've already done the hole and I've already started to do the interior with the sound deadening. Uh, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to find that hole so you can't stuff it up. It's very, very simple. All you need to do is a special tool. And that special tool is this. There you go, a set of verniers. Now these can be got pretty cheap at uh, Bunnings. You know, you can get them from $10 up to, you know, hundreds of dollars. You don't really need an expensive one. Uh, my one's probably middle of the range about 50 or 60 dollar one i can't really remember i've had it that long but i got it at bunnings so what you do take the vernier you want to set it to zero all right now i'm going to do it and you can see exactly how it's done very simple a little bit hard with one hand but you get the idea all right now you want the caliper one side of it in to the original seat pan hole. The other side, just a little bit longer. I'll put this down. And there you go. 
All right, so you actually scribe out the seat pan here. Now just remember, that is in line with that bolt there. So line it up. Uh, it's roughly 9.7 centimeters. All right, or 97 millimeters. All right, scribe your hole. Then from the other side, you do it again. There you go. Scribe your hole again. Now you're scribing it in the middle. All right. Now this one is roughly 16 centimeters or 160 millimeters. Now where you've scribed both these holes, they intersect. They should match. They should draw on top of each other. If you drill right down into there, you see my first attempt I missed, but I didn't know this trick. I was just eyeing it off. The second one, that's right in the center, that is right where that bolt hole is. So it's a captive nut hidden under the floor plan. So all Toyota did was use the same floor plan, but they drilled out in different spots for different countries or different configurations. So that's your hole. And that hole there lines right up with that hole there. So that's how you move your seat base inbound a bit and leaving the center bare for a center console. Now I'm going to go modify my Hurricane fabrication adapters but for you guys who haven't done this yet all you really have to do is buy the driver's side, copy it, flip it over and make another one for the passenger side or buy two driver's sides. Your choice. Okay, so what I've done here is I've pulled the the rails off the driver's seat and I'm just lining them up on the passenger side. Now, as you can see, fits well there, fits well there. Well, the rail is a little bit different on the driver's side to the passenger side, so you do obviously have to fit that. And I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes only. Uh, the hole there, and there's a hole that we drilled there. So it is proof that it does work. So how do you do this? All right, you've got two options. You can buy one driver's side assembly from Hurricane Fabrications, and you can copy it and make a copy and flip it over and put it on the passenger side. Or you can just buy two driver's sides from Hurricane Fabrications and fit the other one onto the passenger side, just upside down. That's your choice. So I had an option, I could copy the driver's one or just order a driver's one from Hurricane Fabrication, which is what I ended up doing. I flipped it around, fitted it to the passenger seat, and here is the result. No rail in the center, it's all clear. So the next thing that's gonna go there will be a center console. And inside that center console, there'll be a little fuse box for all the interior accessories. Uh, I'll go through that a little bit later, but that's a wrap. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and uh, subscribe if you wanna see more. But cheers.